Hey, what's up, YouTube fam? It's your boy, Camo, coming back with another reaction video for you. But first, we got to do a quick shout-out to Sugarcakes1968 Sugarcakes1968 says, Greetings from Australia, new subby. Uh, Sugarcakes, uh, or Miss1968, however you want to go by, I appreciate you. Thank you for subscribing. And, and guys, uh, just like Sugarcakes1968 did, uh, when you subscribe, if you subscribe, if you could put in the comments, I subscribed, or letting me know some way, shape, or form that you subscribe so I can reach out and thank you. You might get a shout out as well, like she did, because I don't always get notified when people subscribe. Sometimes it's not made public to me. I just see the number go up, but I have no idea who it is. And I like to thank everybody that does, because look, there's millions of videos out there. And if you choose to subscribe to my channel as one of them, I can, the least I can do is thank you. And I appreciate you guys for doing so. With that out of the way, today we're going to be reacting to Bill Burr, favorite on this channel, Psycho Robots. Don't know where this is going to go, but let's find out. I got to get my act together, man. I'm really, uh, I'm really at a critical point in my life, you know? I am. I'm, I'm serious. I'm a, I'm a fucking psycho, man. I, I realize this about myself. Like, you know, I'm not married, you know? And I'm really getting to that critical age where, you know, pretty soon I'm just, you know, I got to pick a street. Mm. Either I'm going to get married, you know, or I'm just going to be in that creepy old guy. Hanging out in a bar, you know, red chest hair hanging out. <laughs> no, seriously, I don't know what's, uh, what's wrong with me. I just, uh, I, th I think I, I just stayed single too long, man. It's just brutal. There's a critical point when you stay single too long and when your brain switches from, uh, you know, like, you know, don't, don't, don't say that. To, eh, fuck it, say it. See Okay, I 100% agree with him on this because I, I feel like I was single for way too long. Um, I just got married a couple years ago, guys. So got married, you know, late thirties and yeah, I, I think I had built some, I don't want to say bad habits, but I had built some habits of my way of speaking and, 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 and talking to people. And well, those are the same thing, but, um, where I would basically just say what's on my mind and like no filter, didn't care. And I still, I mean, I still have that, but I've learned being married now that there's some things you can't just blurt out to your wife if you want to have a happy marriage. That is, so I kind of I kind of agree with him already at this point. What happens, <laughs> dude? And once you cross that line, this the, the the evil that just just opens up. It's just you know, I don't know. You know what? I just find women that just like uh, I think they're great. I don't want this to come off like I don't want to come off here like I'm some woman hater because you know. I know I'm a psycho, but it's just like, I don't know, I just find them to be, like, relentless. Just every day, they, they just, they just got to come at you. They just wake up, they have an agenda, and so they're like these psycho robots that never run out of batteries, and every day they just keep fucking, just keep coming at you. Right? You got to deal with that every single day. Hey, honey, you want to shit? And you literally, you know, every day, it's, it's like waves hitting the beach, you know? Every day, just eroding a little more of your life away, you know? Just waking up inch by inch, you know, every day, just... <laughs> Why are you hanging out with him? He drinks too much. <laughs> Where'd you find that? That's ugly. Throw it out. <laughs> so one day, you're just mm -hmm. hanging out in the middle of a lagoon, just floating there with your baseball cards. You're waving to your friends back on the shore. Don't get me tickets. I still like sports. <laughs> oh, here she comes. Here she comes. Hey, honey, how you doing? <sighs> No, I'm trying to I'm trying to learn how to how to pick my battles with my girl, you know? Yeah, that's, what I that's am, the you hard know? part. I used to argue all the time. I'm just trying to pick the battles. That's yep, 100 percent Some days they they come at you. You, <laughs> you just gotta let them go. You just let them go and follow them to whatever dumb shit they wanna do. Like, hey, let's go get a picnic. We'll have a picnic, you bring the good bank and you fucking <laughs> Then other days you just you just gotta get your hand up. You just gotta just create this perimeter or something for them to bounce off like bang, you just send that psycho energy in another direction. You, you can do that, but you, that's only temporary until they come back. <laughs> I know from experience. And when you bounce them off to another direction, that takes a lot of energy out of you. I'm speaking from experience here, people. Learn from me. If you are single, learn from me. ...a couple of hours for freedom before they bounce off something else. I don't know what the fuck I'm talking about. Stop coming back and, Go see my parents. <laughs> Yep. No, they're relentless. They never stop. And there's no reason for them to stop. You know why? Because you can't hit them. <laughs> That's what it is. Think about it. 
about that. There's no physical ramifications for being an asshole when you're a woman. Do you know how much of a, how much of a dick I would be if it was socially unacceptable to kick the shit out of me? Oh, yeah. Dude, I would be trashing everybody I saw. See some big muscle bomb guy, hey, I go to the fucking gym, slap his protein shake out of his hey, go fuck yourself, right? <laughs> Right? Every guy has a line, and if I cross the line, I get blasted in the face. Totally acceptable, right? Mm -hmm. Well, with women, there's no line. They can just keep fucking just keep coming at you. <laughs> I've seen women throw down. I don't know about that. I've seen women throw down. Dude, they can do stuff worthy of like a suplex, and they'll just stand right next to it. They don't even have the decency to run away. They'll like light your clothes on fire. They're like, ta-da! I did that shit. <laughs> oh yeah. And I was so proud of my work, I stuck around to see your reaction. Okay, that's true. I invited a couple of friends to heckle you as you try to stomp it out with your bare feet. Oh, oh yeah, they'll like key your car, sign their name. Susan did this shit! <laughs> and you're sitting like, now, can I at least put her in a headlock, give her a couple of... Now, I feel bad for women that you, you never get to feel that. You guys should, should do it to each other, you know, just every once in a while. Just haul it off and just blast one of your friends in the face, you know? How different would the workplace be if in if instead of women just talking shit behind other women's backs, what if they just went up and decked one because they heard that they were talking shit and then just that's the end of it, you know? Instead of like you hear one woman talk shit behind you, so then you talk shit behind her to somebody else and then that a vicious circle of like just talking shit behind people's backs and, and then to their face you're smiling and acting all cool. How different would the workplace be if you just smacked the shit out of the girl that was talking shit on you? Right? Could be wrong. That might be an HR issue. It's good for you. <laughs> no, I know. Yeah, I know. It hurts. You know, you can't feel your nose. Your ears are ringing. But I'm telling you, man, it, it clears your head. And it causes you to, like, evaluate yourself. Yep. I swear to God, any time I ever got punched in the face, I was always pissed. But at some point during the drive home, I'd always be thinking, like, you know, I was kind of being a dick back there. Oh, I was going to say, I'd be like, was I being an asshole? Did I, I, really I think, think I deserve that. I probably shouldn't have yeah. said that last shit, you know? Yep. <laughs> and you, you, you'd, like, make that adjustment. Yeah. Very true. <laughs> this guy's an asshole. I can't believe he's just going to say this kind of thing. <laughs> Actually, my girl punched me in the head on Valentine's Day a few years ago. Yeah, you want to hear this story? This is a great one. Oh, this is how much of a dick I am, that I can actually tell a girl I love her, give her a card, and somehow at the end of the night, she still blasted me in the head, you know? <laughs> I can't even remember what happened. All I know is she said some shit, then I said some stuff, then she said some more stuff, and I said, fuck it, I'm going for big air. I said the last shit, and next thing you know, she just came flying at me, right? Fist balled up. Okay, and at first she was just hitting me all in here, you know, which is acceptable, right? It's a holiday. Let's fucking keep it nice, you know? <laughs> Let's keep it nice, right? Let's keep it and respectful. I, gotta admit, I was blocking most of it at first, right? I was doing the rope a dope. I was leaning back, I was pulling her head in, I was leaning on her, talking shit, trying to tire her out, right? And then all of a sudden she just went up top, fucking wham, and hit me right in the side of the head. You know what hurt the most was not that she hit me, was that after she hit me, she didn't have the decency to hop back like, like maybe something was going to happen. She knew nothing was going to happen. Mm -hmm. It's against the rules. So not only did she get to blast me in the head, she then got to do like this UFC talking shit thing in my face. Oh, pointing. oh my gosh. <laughs> I was through it. Then she started like breaking up some stuff. You know, of course, it was all my stuff. And I'm just standing there. Okay, don't look her in the eye. Stand as still as you can. Let her calm down. Oh, that's great. That's something mine from high school. That meant a lot to me. <laughs> evidently not to you. It's funny. If I was doing that shit, I'd have a cop with his knee in my back, but evidently you have a vagina, so that makes it okay. I just have to stand here <laughs> as you break He's not all wrong. My shit. Not wrong. All right, guys, that was Bill Burr, Psycho Robots. If you guys agree with Bill, can you put agree in the comment section below? Also, if you guys could please like, share, subscribe to this channel. I do appreciate you guys. Till next time. Thank <laughs> you.